Welcome to Mathematics with M's, Grade 12, DBE, 2022, Final Paper 2, Question 8. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Right, Question 8, 8.1. In the diagram, O is a center of the circle, M, N, P, R is a cyclic quadrilateral, and S, N is the diameter of the circle. Call MS and radius OR are drawn. Angle M2 is 64 degrees. You must determine, giving reasons, the size of the following angles. Angle P, M1, and O1. 8.2. In the diagram, triangle ABG is drawn. D and E are midpoints of AB and AG, respectively. AG and BG are produced to C and H, respectively. F is a point on BC, such as FG is parallel to CH. 8.21, give a reason why DE is parallel to BH. 8.22, if it's further given that FC over BF is equal to a quarter, DE is 3X minus 1, GH is X plus 1, calculate giving reasons the value of X. Right, question 8. In the diagram, O is the center of the circle, M and PR is a cyclic quadrilateral, and SN is the diameter of the circle. Called MS and radius OR is drawn, M2 is 64 degrees. Now the first question is, you must determine the size of angle P. Now if you have a close look at angle P, you will notice that P is part of cyclic quad, MRPN. And you remember that angle M2 and angle P are opposite angles of a cyclic quad. And you'll remember this from your, your uh, theorem, that the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. In other words, they add up to 180. So therefore, if M2 is 64 given, then P should be 180 minus 64, which is 116. Second question. M1, look, you see where is M1, there is M1, then you'll notice that M1 and M2 together is an angle in a semicircle, remember SN is the diameter, so together they should be 90 degrees, so therefore if M2 is 64, then M1 should be a 90 minus 64, which is 26 degrees, and then O1, she weighs O1. You'll note that O1 is subtended by SR. But M1 is also subtended by SR. And O1 is angled at the center. And M1 is angled in the opposite segment. So therefore, M O S O R or rather O1 is then twice M1. So therefore, if M1 is 26, then this one should be 50 degrees. Right, so in the, this is now question 8.2. So in the diagram ABG is drawn, as you can see there, ABG is a triangle, D, right, there's D and there's E are the midpoints of AB and AG respectively. Now AG, right, and BG are produced to C and H. So they are lengthened in straight lines to C and H, respectively. F is a point on BC. Now F is a point on BC so that FG and CH are parallel. Right, cool. The first question is, give a reason why DE is parallel to BH. Why is DE parallel to BH? So, in other words, why is that line parallel to that line? Well, that brings you to great 10 theorem, namely that line segment drawn from the center of one side to the center or midpoint of the other side, such a line is parallel to the third side and also equals to a half of that side. So, just remember that. The second question, it is further given that FC over BF, now look here, FC over BF is a quarter, right? FC over is a quarter, and DE is 3X 
minus 1. So, DE is 3X minus 1. And GF is X plus 1. GF, or rather, GH, sorry, is X plus 1. So, that is given to us. Now, you must calculate with reasons the value of X. Now, remember now that BE, or rather BG, look at BG here. BG, like I said previously, is double 3x minus 1. So, therefore, this should be 6x minus 2. Remember, that line is half of that line, or this line is double that line. So, remember that. So, therefore, BG is 6x minus 2. So, therefore, GH over BG, so GH over BG is the same as FC over BF. Why? Because those two lines are parallel. To try not to look at that triangle. Only look at that triangle. Then you can see if those lines are parallel, do we know from the grade 12 theorem that GH over HB is the same as CF over FB. Right? So once you've done that, then you substitute uh, GH with X plus 1 and uh, BG with uh, 6X minus 2. And of course, FC over BC is a quarter. Then you cross multiply, solve for X, and therefore X equals to 3. This is uh, Mathematics with Ams, Ahmed Suleiman. Please give me a huge like. And don't forget to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.